Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center. It's mid-June 2020, and no one can predict what the next months will bring. What we do know is that your job, optician, just got a lot harder to do. Yes, I know, like working retail isn't hard enough already. Look, I'm not in the trenches anymore. I'm not on the front lines. I have no idea exactly what I would be doing if I was. But in my opinion, if I had to be out front and center working with the public all day long, I'd be doing what I could to avoid getting sick. Again, in my opinion, people are the real danger here. From everything that I have read, the virus struggles to live on surfaces for even 12 hours. In theory, that means that if you close up your shop on Friday at 5.30, when you reopen the doors on Monday at 9, you're actually quite safe. Of course, the minute a customer enters the store and starts trying on glasses, well, that all goes out the window. And speaking of windows, ventilation seems to be another key part in staying healthy. This week, I wanted to show you the Sios or Santinelli International Optical Supplies answer to disinfecting frames in bulk. To be brutally honest, when am I not, I'd be scared to death to buy a pair of glasses today. Not because of any virus, but because of what has been done to that frame trying to fight it. You can't even glance at social media without someone talking about it. You also can't help but question what repeated washings, sprays, lotions, squirt bottles, fogging, harsh chemicals, and soaps are doing to those frame materials, and much worse, the hinges. You see some pretty bad stuff out there. I think the Fusion UV unit might be a better, faster, and far less harmful solution to your frame disinfecting needs. Now, just two things more before we dig in. First, you cannot use your transitions test box to disinfect frames. No, you can't. Uh, for several reasons, it's just the wrong tool for the job. Second, I would encourage you to please be very, very careful about using some of the rushed to market bargain basement stuff that you see out there. It takes UVC to act as a true antimicrobial, big word, or in other words, something that will kill off not only germs, but viruses too. UVC is some really dangerous stuff. You don't want to be exposed to it, waving some light wand around that probably wouldn't work anyway. So please be safe out there. Let's take a look at the Fusion UV unit. This is the Fusion UV Frame Disinfecting Unit. It is made by Quantum, people that specialize in AR equipment and application processes, people that really, really understand the power of light. It is being distributed by Sios Santinelli International Optical Supply. The Fusion UV unit will arrive in what I can only describe as being a very big box. Inside the very big box will be a very well packaged and protected Fusion UV unit. Along with that, you're gonna get your power cord, your set of clear rods, a set of dosimeter cards, which I will show you how we use, a couple of light bulbs, and I'll show you how I put those in in just a minute, and everything else that's gonna be related to the use of it, you're gonna grab by using your QR code. So just take out your QR reader. Whoa, that was quick. Open it up in the browser, and there it is, Quantum Fusion UV, download the user manual. All the other related material is there as well. Setup is really straightforward. Once you open this up, you are going to find you're gonna to need to install the two light bulbs that came. Now, 
I had to make sure that this was going to work for you guys, so I had to assemble it, of course, and check it before I shot the video. So I didn't want to take these bulbs in and out more than I had to. They are fragile, and whatever you do, you do not want to get your fingerprints on them. They will shorten the life of the bulb. So I had to be really careful, wear gloves, don't touch your face or anything while you're doing it. So I didn't want to double that up. You pop them in one end and it's a clip on the other. Once you have your two bulbs in place, it is time to put in the clear rods. Now these rods sound like glass. They are extremely fragile. I understand they're also a little pricey. They're not glass. They are a highly specialized and proprietary material created by Quantum that allows the UVC light to pass through and penetrate the object that you're trying to disinfect. I just said this, I'm going to say it again, all right? Check Quantum out online. These are folks that specialize in AR coatings, AR coating applications. They really know the power of light and how to design something so it works. Again, just be shy of all that other stuff that you see out there. Don't say I didn't warn you. To put the rods in place, simply pop them in on one side, pull the grommet out, place the grommet on the other end, and position it in the rack. Now the rods are installed on the top rack inside the unit for frame disinfecting. If you look inside, there's also a lower rack, so you can position the rods down there for disinfecting other things like masks and other equipment. Once you have all that set up, all you need to do is plug in that power cord. Once you've done that, you are ready to disinfect some frames. Simply take your frames, hang them over the clear rods, and make sure they're not touching. Now on the literature, it says that the whole thing is designed to hold 12 or disinfect 12 frames at a time. I think if you count closely, I think I have seven and seven there. Uh, obviously, if they're not touching, I think you're gonna be fine. Now, the opening scene in the uh, video, which was kind of fun to make, uh, shows the light on when you open it. There is a safety catch, safety catch. There's the timer. You do not want to look directly at the UVC light. You don't want a lot of exposure. When you open the lid, it will turn the lights off. So you don't have to worry about that. Once I have my frames all positioned the way I want them, close things up, turn the power switch on, Crank the timer to just two minutes. Your power light will come on, and that's all there is to it. Two things while we wait for the two minute timer. One, you can disinfect complete finished pairs of glasses in here, even if they are AR coated. If you put a transition in, do not expect them to change. Some will, but the majority of them won't because the triggers are usually UVA and UVB. The other thing is, Quantum has run the equivalent of 5,000 cycles on a wide range of materials, including some high-end frames with all kinds of bling, showing no signs of degradation. Now, something I learned, which was a bit of a surprise to me, was, hey, guess what? This can also disinfect other things. You can move the rods around, change it, come up with something on your own. You can disinfect tools, you can disinfect your masks. So a pretty handy item to have. Once you are done doing that, you can remove your frames and put them back on your board. Let's take a look at our dosimeter cards. Uh, those are the way that we tell that the unit is producing enough energy to get the job done. And yes, it has to be performed daily. Now, uh, I used two cards. You don't necessarily have to. I wasn't sure when I first started this. You can cut the cards in half or fold it in half, kind of double their life, if you will. Kind of the weak link at the moment, but they are working on fixing it. When you are ready to test, open the unit up, set one card face up, one card face down, and run a full two minute cycle. Open the unit back up and look at the cards. The cards should match the center and the lower portion of the circle. In other words, you're looking for pink, pink. If you have pink, pink, you're good to go. If you don't, it's probably time to change your light bulbs. 
And that really is all there is to it. Available from Sios Santinelli International Optical Supply. There's their address. One last thing before I let you go for the week. Remember that this is simply a product overview. It is not a product review, or even for that matter, a product endorsement. I simply haven't used it. I mean, I have no idea how this thing will perform six months, a year from now. About the only equipment that I could possibly do a review on, and be honest, would be the whiteboard and my video cameras. If you're watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Watching us on Facebook, please do give me a like. Make sure that every lens in that frame that you are going to disinfect comes from Laramie K. And I will see you again next week when we take a leaf through the Sios PPE catalog.